Is it true that collagen powder is processed in a similar way to, you know, what we've seen as these toxic seed oils? Yes, it is true. So one of the big um, arguments that are used against vegetable oils is that they are processed with high heat that oxidizes the oil and industrial solvents like hexane, and that that means that they're toxic. So uh, one of the things that's really important to know is that the you know high heat when it is used in the processing of vegetable oils is done uh, under pressure, which means in a vacuum. So there's no oxygen. So that means the fats cannot oxidize. You need oxygen to oxidize. So the high heat step being done under pressure prevents oxidation. And when hexane is used for extraction, uh, there is a gentle heating step, not high enough to oxidize the fats, but enough to evaporate hexane. Hexane evaporates at a much lower temperature than the smoke point or boiling point of oils. So the hexane is completely removed. Studies that have looked at the amount of hexane that is remaining in vegetable oils shows uh, most of them have no detectable amount. The ones that are there, if you do the math with the highest level of like hexane detectable in the finished oil, you would have to consume 11 liters of that vegetable oil per day to hit the chronic reference dose of hexane, which means 97,000 calories worth of vegetable oils per day in order for the hexane to start being of concern. Um, the 97,000 calories of vegetable oil per day are going to be, um, there's lots of other reasons to be worried about that. That has nothing to do with hexane, right? So that's the, that's vegetable oils. And so all of that fear around the hexane and vegetable oils is unfounded. But also collagen peptides undergo a very similar initial extraction step, um, usually lye or caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, uh, is used in an initial step. And then in order to remove the fats from the material, they use either uh, chloroform or hexane. Um, so they, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very similar industrial process to extract uh, and then break down collagen peptides from, it's typically broken down from uh, mammalian hides, so uh, pork hides or, or beef hides, even when we're talking about grass-fed beef collagen, it's going through a very similar industrial process. It's also not something to worry about. We're also getting rid of the hexane in the final product. Uh, it's it's just that one has a health halo and everyone is uh, making bank off of selling collagen peptides and one is very unfairly uh, and actually, you know, demonized contra to what the science shows, which is that vegetable oils are, in, you know, very beneficial. So I am pro collagen peptides, but I'm also pro vegetable oil. They are both good. And in, in neither case do we need to worry about the industrial processing.